the game to me, it means everything. I've been playing this sport since I was six. You know, it means a lot to me. You know, I'm willing to give it my all, every play, every down. You know, I'm a team player. I'm selfless, and you know, I'm I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get the W, to get the win. You know, they need me to go to receive, I go to receive. They need me to play special teams, I go play special teams. You know, I do whatever it takes to get the win, and I think that's what they like about me the most. But before Traylon could suit up for the Razorbacks, he had to sit out a year. The 5'9 running back transferred to Arkansas after two seasons at Arizona State. Last year, during that time, you know, decided that I was going to be the best player I could be, um, knowing that I couldn't play. So a lot of the times I was on the um, scout team, giving looks and things of that sort. But um, my mindset every day was just to come in and, you know, just be the best player I can be. When the coaching change happened, I, you know, I wasn't really worried about if I made the right decision on if I came to the right place. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I know, I know what I can do on the field. You know, I know what I can produce. I know what I can give to this team. Traylon Smith is doing a tremendous job. Absolutely I love that kid. I love his heart, his work ethic. You know, ever since we got here, I got here in January, all I've seen him do is work. He's a very powerful runner and uh, very elusive and, and uh, just a tough guy, tough mentally guy. He's exactly what you need on your football team. Hands it to Smith, left side. Traylon Smith cuts back inside the Georgia 40. He's got room down to the 37-yard line. He's so, certainly much more powerful than his body, you know, his physical attributes would look. But uh, he's he's so he just built different. I mean, he's in his mind. He's just a he's a great big old guy in his mind. You know, he'll try to run over you. He'll try to do. You know, it, there's nothing really scares the guy. Coach Sam Pittman, that's my guy, man. I love him to death. My running back coach Jimmy Smith, I love him to death. They they talk to me every day, call me, make sure I'm straight. And um, you know, they just brought us in like a family, man. They love us to death and um, they're behind us 100%. And that's what I like about this coaching staff. You know, they want to see everybody succeed. Smith is in at the tailback spot with Boyd out, a junior transfer out of Arizona State. Before me getting here, um, I did know of Rakeem Boyd in Houston, Texas. I did know of him. We really, we really weren't that close when we were in Houston together. But um, as soon as I got here, like the connection, man, it just it just grew and it grew every day, you know. So me and Rakeem, we are very close now. When I go home, he come home with me. We go to Houston together. We travel back together. And uh, we even work out, train together when we're out there with the Footwork King or whatnot. Um, you know, just trying to get better in each and every way, just uh, making each other better. Traylon Smith is, is real close to me. That's a guy I look after, I'm like, oh, are you straight? Are you good? You know what I mean? So I, I care what he do, you know what I mean? So that dude right there, that's a that's a hard worker. That's a, that's a hard worker. I, I mean, I could look over at him, he could be dead tired. He's gonna look at me, he's gonna say, Kim, let's go. You know, we gotta do so. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's love between me and him. Ever since I got here, you know, Rakeem, you know, put me under his wing and, you know, we started hanging out every day. You know, I started learning from him, learning from me. And that's my big bro. Smith straight ahead, Rakeem Boyd still banged up. Nifty move and another first down for the Hawks. I come, I come from a, a harsh background, you know, not having much, you know, growing up as a young kid. And so every time I step out on the field, I see it as an opportunity. Not only as an opportunity to go out there and play the, the sport I love, but also an opportunity to better my people's life, to better my family life, you know, put my mom in a better situation, my pops in a better situation. Um, I just keep that in mind every time I step on the field. It's bigger than me, you know? It's bigger than me. I have people depending on me, and uh, I feel like that's truly my motivation, you know? I do it for them.